The National Ozone Unit, in collaboration with GIZ, is hosting a one-week Train the Trainer program titled Grenada Cooling Training in Natural Refrigerant at the T.M. Marisho Community College. The initiative aims to significantly contribute to the sustainable transformation of Grenada's refrigeration and air conditioning RAC sector. This initiative under the Cool Contributions Fighting Climate Change 2 or C42 project is scheduled to run from Monday, August 19th to Friday, August 23rd, 2024. One of the key focus is on enhancing the technical capability of RAC technicians in the safe and efficient use of natural refrigerant. Natural refrigerants, which include substances like ammonia, carbon dioxide, and hydrocarbon dioxide, are being promoted globally as environmentally friendly alternatives to traditional synthetic refrigerant that contributes to ozone depletion and global warming. National Ozone Officer Leslie Smith gave an overview of the seminar. We have brought together 17 technicians here today who are engaged in a train the trainers approach as the first component of the training. And uh, the second component is a one day approach for practical training. So the training has two aspects, there's a theoretical aspect and a heavily weighted practical component in teaching our technicians how to deal and handle new and emerging technologies that have a lot of safety considerations for flammability, toxicity and high pressures. So we have a trainer here who is from France who is conducting the training and who is exposing our technicians here in Grenada to the most recent and up-to-date levels of training as regards to natural refrigerants that are used in the refrigeration and the conditioning sector. Smith says that over 80% of technicians in Grenada have undergone such training as this is the fourth of its kind on the island. While most of the participants are from Grenada, there is one person from St. Kitts and Nevis. So today we have representatives from all sectors here in Grenada. So we have from the refrigeration sector, the commercial sector, academia, um, young technicians, old technicians. And we also have one technician who is from St. Kitts and Nevis, who is the HVAC instructor at the college there, who have journeyed all the way to Grenada to get first and experience. So at the conclusion of the training, uh, the technicians are expected now to replicate the information with their, their, their mates at work or wherever. We expect to that they would practice the good refrigeration practices that they are taught. Gregory Francis from St. Kitts and Nevis and Frazil Morris, lecturer at Tamsisi, spoke of their expectations of the training and how it will benefit their country. Well, my expectations here for this training is that I am here to learn the ways of natural refrigerants, how the way they impact the ozone, the way how they are going to advance the way how we use the natural refrigerants in the new emerging market and to give this information back to our technicians home in St. Kitts. By gaining this knowledge, I tend to share as much as I can with the students, especially those who are newly up, um, coming into the college. Um, it would give me a wider um, background in, ten, in terms of um, putting out what I've learned to the students on a whole. Um, the new types of refrigerants that we are having to come into the country, it would be a great asset to know how to go about utilizing it, especially the equipment that they come with. All right, so I tend to use those knowledge to better equip the students in the long run. This training seminar is expected to be a significant step towards building a more resilient and environmentally responsible refrigeration and air condition industry in Grenada and the wider region. Rena Thomas, GBN News.